Today is Wednesday, May the 19th, and I'm going to continue to make these short videos. Let's just look very quickly now at the FinViz, where you can see that the volumes were pretty much average. Started off the day, the Dow down, moved upwards, NASDAQ constantly move upwards, and the S&P from about 1030 was constantly moving upwards as well, which takes our McClellan Oscillator still down now into oversold territory. Um, but not finished being oversold, could go lower. This is about the same point where it turned around um, back here uh, and here and here and here. So it's an opportunity to turn around and we can see some, some reason for it in the charts. Now the Dow Jones took a very clear bounce today. Its low was right off the 50 EMA. The NASDAQ fell below the cloud but pushed up and had a very strong day still in the cloud. The S&P, again, the 50 was support a couple of, uh, last week a couple of times, um, and it proved to be support again today. Not quite. It did overshoot the 50, but it moved up high on the day. Apple, remember we talked about this candle on Monday, and we said these are commonly reverse candles? Well, that happened. We had a down day. We had another down day, but Apple did finish, at the top of its range. Builder is a stock that we can finally take off of our radar because it, we were looking at it to break out of this channel and it did anything but. It, um, you know, it got saved by the cloud here, but not interested in it. IBM finished at the top of its range. Neo had a, a doji kind of day, but look at the support right there on the cloud. And tomorrow, uh, we've got the Chiku Span now, which should get support right here on the cloud, which would be the low today. So the low today, tomorrow, is where the Chiku Span is on the 50. So that's an area to bounce. So we're going to look at that tomorrow. Square. Uh, look at where Square got its bounce today. Its low point was right here on this green line, right here, this low point. And where is that? Right at the 200. So the Chiku Span bounced very clearly right here off of the 200 EMA, and that's how it got its bounce. T, all I can say is that the, the, the selling continues, but the volume is decreasing. And on the faster moving stochastic, it looks like now it's heading into oversold territory, but the slower move stochastic has it still um, not exactly in a favorable, favorable position. U.S. Bank finished low, but up at the top of the end of its range. An MP that we looked at saying we had three of these solid up candles, we would like to see a fourth and then we'd get into it. We had a pullback today. You know, maybe that's the dip that we should buy. Maybe it's going down to test the 200 again, and that's what we're going to watch for.